very Hi guys, it's Burn Hazard again. And um this video I'm not actually going to be taming anything. This is kind of a cast off of uh what I've usually been doing for friends. Instead, um sadly I'm going to be a little bit philosophical. Now I've been uh grinding the reputation for Emperor Shao Hao since I did the uh, Bufo video about the Bufo quirk and if you notice the time it has been hours that I have been doing this so it kinda became pretty brain numbing because nobody um, friend wise has been online to help stimulate and keep me from going utterly bonkers or more bonkers, whichever. So if you want a hunter taming video, um, I suggest you stop watching this and go to one of the others. Because, yeah, it's time for a little bit of a semi-rant. Now, earlier I uh, kind of did a little lamenting thing to one of my friends who was online about you know, doing the uh, reputation grind for this, and uh, his response back was just uh, one word, RIP. Now, everybody pretty much knows that unless you are using uh, RIP in a sentence, uh, it mean, it's the acronym for rest in peace. If you use it in a sentence, it's usually refer reference to uh, the the actual words meaning of uh, to cut, to rend, to tear, basically, you know, divide in half or divide um, with more violence than just uh, parting. But uh, yeah, and randomly it got me thinking. Now it's been a few months since um, I remember, in fact, I think it was the start of the year, January or February. People in WoW started to use RIP as, you know, casual conversation. Um, doing a RIP grind, uh, RIP. Doing, you know, failing on a boss or wiping a raid, RIP. Forgot to bring something uh, with you for roleplay or for, you know, PvE, PvP, RIP. Generally, um, they use it towards, you know, failure or something sucks, and we've only been doing it for a couple months now, or I should say people have only been doing it. I think I did it once or twice, but everybody uses it almost, <laughs> well, I think that the, the less fewer I've seen have been like five times in the con during conversation or just interaction or gameplay. And what's puzzling is, uh, you know, why, to me, why is uh, something that is an acronym for a serious, um, far more serious um, subject suddenly casual conversation? I mean, growing up uh, in school, one of the first uh, acronyms you actually came into contact with was RIP because of the Halloween stuff, you know, the novelties, the, the costumes, the headstones always put uh, RIP on as a generic, you know, rest in peace. Everybody knew what it meant. And yet, in real life, it was not really overly used that much. People would have uh, names on the headstones, uh, short epitaph, something motto or, you know, in memorandum, uh, trying to tie something favorable in with uh, the person who had passed away. It was a serious, um, serious thing meant to honor, respect, and pretty much, you know, value the, the memory of the one who passed. And, yeah, RIP became a quick acronym for uh, Rest in Peace uh, decades ago, centuries ago, I'm not sure on that. But, you know, it, it was something in-depth, something somber. 
And nowadays, uh, a lot of people in WoW uh, use it just so casually, like it's trivial, meaningless, so, you know, something light, careless, or like they're even apathetic about it. And whatever happened to typing out, you know, a phrase like, oh, it sucks to be you, or that's the way the ball bounces, you know, some sort of response to somebody that takes longer than not even a second to type. I mean, because in a conversation, and I have noticed this a lot, I don't have any examples to show you, but uh, almost every conversation that uh, Rip has shown up in, it's literally a conversation stopper. There's nothing about it to expand on. There's nothing about it to really reply to. There's no continuation of the conversation. It's just pretty much a stopper. Now, is that its purpose? I mean, I'm thinking too deep into it, but at the same time, haven't you ever wondered about casual conversation, slang? You know, where did this word come from? Why do we use this in this context? That's pretty much what I'm doing right now. And... My friend had to go to work, so he went offline, but in the uh, conversation we had before he left about this, um, he said that he couldn't remember when he picked it up, but that it was associated with, you know, failure or uh, something that sucked or was bad, but it was done in a lighthearted way, and people just toss it out. They don't care about what exactly they mean. I don't even think that they think about what they mean. It's just uh, the context. They saw somebody use it this way, so they copied them, they emulated them, without actually taking a moment to think about what they what they picked up to use. Because, you know, rest in peace, that's something somber, something deep. It's not lighthearted, it's not apathetic, it's meant in, uh, like I said, memorandum. But, as far as the slang now goes, it's careless, it's uh, a conversation stopper, really, unless, um, you know, somebody gets kind of insulted or ticked off about being casually dismissed by it. Then I've seen people come back with uh, mild insults meant between friends, usually, you know, like calling somebody a train wreck or something. You mean it in good, good faith, it's just, you know, you got to know the person so you know they won't take offense, it's just friendly banter. And I'm not going to get too deep into that or I'll completely lose my trail of thought. Uh, easy to do when you're brain dead or brain numbed. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so, it made me think, is our society so steeped in constant you know, chaos, constant death, that something like that is just used as slang. It no longer has any real meaning, there's no feeling, no no depth behind it, no thought behind it. It's meaningless. Granted, uh, in today's world, you cannot escape the fact that the media Everything on the radio, on the TV, in movies, uh, even talking with people, everything is so depressing and, and dark and chaotic. We have more deaths, more murders, more battles, more war, more people hurt, more people dying. Have we become so apathetic and numb that we take somber stuff like that and pretty much brush it off and make it into a light, careless, apathetic thing, like we have been? Or does it actually mean something to the people who use it, or do they just do it thoughtlessly? Which, unfortunately, I'm kind of leaning towards a thoughtlessly. I mean, I'm a pessimist. And I do go along with a lot of the uh, flow as far as, you know, crowds and fads go, but every so often there's a fad or a new thing that comes out that makes me stop and question like I'm doing in this video. 
have there been any instances of um, words or phrases or something that uh, you've seen your friends or pickup groups, other players, your family, something that they began saying that really no longer ties in with what the origin initially was? Have there been anything, any instances that you've noticed uh, people pick up something you say and use it in the wrong context and suddenly um, it's one of these fad sayings? I want to know your thoughts. I mean, I know that granted um, my channel is not very popular. I have been posting videos on taming and stuff for friends, not uh, not general public. I do not ask for subscriptions, I do not ask for likes, because frankly, I don't care about those. They are pretty much as meaningless as a lot of stuff has become these days. However, I do know that there are some other people out there besides my friends who watch these videos, who listen, so I'm asking you to comment. You know, I want to know your thoughts on this. Am I the only one that randomly questions occurrences like this? Am I the only one that actually thinks about them, even if it is, um, you know, random with uh, no real reason behind it, it just pops into my head? I want to know your thoughts. I know I'm, in asking this, um, some of the people who aren't my friends who actually do cave in and comment are probably going to just flood the thing with rip. Fine, if you want to be unoriginal, do it. I want to know thoughts. Actual, coherent thoughts. Think about it. They're, I mean, thoughts are actually priceless, and there's nothing more priceless than sitting down and thinking about something, and discovering something new, finding out what it means to you, what your perception of it is. I mean, I'm one of, I, I try to be a writer, uh, my stuff is not very good, but I'm a role player, and a lot of the stuff that I write... I have meaning behind it. It may not be the same meaning, or it might not mean the same thing to me as it as it would to somebody else. But even if a lot of stuff gets lost in translation, regardless of whether we speak English, or poor English, or bad English, or, you know, um, European English, other languages that I honestly do not speak, Spanish, Russian, German, uh, any of them. Even speaking the same language, so much can be lost in translation, in perception. How do you understand it? So much can be lost if you just, you know, don't actually think about something, expand upon it, delve into it, dig into it. That's part of learning. And to just literally chop it off, kind of like what Rip does in conversations, it's it's a stopper. Or, you know, it literally, if you respond to it, it'll be one of those, you know, teasing, bantering things with friends, but it'll still kill the conversation. Instead, you will pick it up, pick up a different conversation, make a different, you know, chat, something else, some other subject. You won't continue on whatever it was that you were talking about because it's just shut down. So, yeah, when I ask for thoughts, I don't care. You don't have to be politically correct because, frankly, I'm not politically correct. I'm damn proud of it. I'm not a politician. I am a human being. So, put your thoughts out in the comments. I am not going to insult you. Thoughts are too precious to belittle. There's no right and wrong, it's not a pop quiz, you know. If people want to comment on your comments and call you stupid, let them. They don't know you, they don't care to try even understanding your thoughts. They just want their opinions out there, regardless of whether the opinions have basis 
or meaning. They just want to speak up. Well, I want you to speak up, but I want you to share your thoughts. You know, be creative. That is the key to originality. So, have there been any uh, phrases, any sayings, you noticed uh, your pickup groups, pugs, whatever, have you noticed how they respond to certain um, commentary? Does it shut the conversation down? Is it something that, uh, you know, has changed from what the meaning originally was? Uh, is it lighter? How did it change? Why do you think you use it? What does it mean to you? You know, stuff like that. Share. The only thing in the world that is priceless, you cannot put a price on, and you really should not put a limitation on, is free will and the ability to think for yourself. Share it. Nothing, I mean, it can't, it does not hurt to share. What hurts is when you, um, let the people who refuse to actually think for themselves get to you. That's when it hurts. And frankly, they really just hurt themselves if you really want to go there. Because there's nothing more engaging, nothing more interesting than sharing thoughts and learning new stuff. Anyhow, sorry for the rant. Then again, sorry not sorry. That is a saying I picked up that I honestly do have a lot of weight in because I am not sorry. It has become a habit to say sorry when you offend somebody or when your views do not line up with another person's. It's become habit, automatic, to apologize. Well, I'm not going to apologize for this. I do not mean it, therefore I will not say it. Either way, this is the video. Uh, the rant was kind of unintentional, but it is something that just could not be contained anymore. If you did not like this, well, you could have stopped watching it anytime. Nobody forced you to continue viewing it or listening. However, I do ask, please share your thoughts. As many thoughts as you want. Um, the only restriction that I would ask is that you keep it clean. I mean, you really don't need foul language, obscenity, uh, you know, you don't need that to express yourself. Pure thought beautiful. Have a good day.